Hey, it's yep. a Sebastian from the Metal Gods Meltdown, and I'm joined by... It's Sofer from Viapira and... Andreas, lead singer of Viapira. Brilliant. I see you at Sweden Rocks. I wish I was over there with you. Um, I love Eat Your Heart Out. How pleased are you with the response so far from media and fans to the tracks you have released? So fucking very pleased because people... Our plan was to get back to the roots where the 80s metal died. I think metal died 1992 or somewhere around that year. And people seem to like our music and we get comments like, uh, you sound like blah, 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 our favorite bands. And we just love the response. Yeah, we, we have loved the response. Uh, we, we're trying to get back to the, the old way of doing rock uh, and uh, we want to sound uh, a lot like all our idols yeah. from the 80s, uh, so to say. And uh, yeah, we have loved the response. In my eyes, you've done that, man. I mean, I was, that was when I got into metal in the 80s and that. So I remember Wasp when they were like new and Twisted Sister, all of that, and London. Um, who you've got down as one of your influences. Um, your album is intensely addictive. Can you give me some feedback though into two songs on there? My favorite, which is Sierra and Cold as Ice. That's cool. Big every song on this album actually is my favorite. <laughs> Maybe on Monday, Sierra is my favorite. On Tuesday, another song is my favorite. I can't. You Even can. though I had enough of this album because we laid our souls into it and I just want to go further and get to the next album, I often go back to this and I listen to it several times every week and I get a new favorite song every time I listen to it. And that got to be a good uh, for your own record and making your own songs thinking like that. I believe that is a good omen. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that uh, uh, we have uh, a lot of... Uh, oh, there's a car coming here, but um, that's fine. Uh, we have a lot of different songs on the album. We have... Uh, because we, we have not just been influenced by one band. We have been influenced by a lot of bands. And uh, we love a lot of the old school kind of rock. Yeah, and uh, uh, a lot of our songs uh, reflect that, I think. The, uh, some of the songs sounds more like uh, old school, kind of uh, you have kind of a rainbow feel to them. And not, uh, some other songs might feel like uh, they're more into the hair metal uh, uh, style and stuff like that. We, we, we just love the old school sound so yeah, well, you've got it man you've encaps encapsulated that on that on the album um when i go and see a band i love to be able to sing along and pump my fist and this album does that so what can we expect from you live you can expect everything from us live hopefully we we you just <laughs> said it you can expect everything because we don't want to put ourselves in uh, some kind of uh, like uh, John Dras, we want to just do a classic hard rock. Of course, we're going to play the, the songs from this album, but we're in the middle of our um, next album recordings as we speak, and uh, they're going to be uh, things to come. Yeah, yeah. Which, it, it, and uh, I believe uh, looking at the comments and uh, the like uh, feedback we had on this album we believe the next one is gonna be even more lovable <laughs> yeah 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 i mean uh, the, these songs on this album were well played for a long time so of course we can uh we we feel like uh, we have a lot more to give than what we did in these songs um We've had this in the works for about, I think it's five years or maybe more of some of the songs. 
I I think that uh, we personally we would enjoy more to play the upcoming songs than the ones we have because we have worked on them for so long. But of course, uh, we are gonna give it all when we play these songs because we love them and we are very excited about uh, doing some live performances. Yes, they're very on the album. Do you think it's going to be the best one to play live? I love Sierra. That's my favorite. And I think that'd be awesome live. I really love Sierra that. Sierra is a good song for playing live. I, I believe all the songs on this album are made for yeah, man. as live because they are just in your face. And some of the songs are like emotional, but as well in your face. And yeah, it's most that's the way we write music because we want to touch people and ourselves, of course. We just don't want to do uh, a thing to, to celebrate the 80s. We want to do it because we love it and that's the way we feel. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, you're at Sweden Rock, which starts tomorrow. Um, I was hoping you were playing. You're not actually playing at this festival, are you? We actually got a... Uh, we talked about playing some acoustic... Uh, uh, here, but uh, in we the had, end, we, we, we had a set playing acoustic at the Sweden official Sweden Rock, uh, their own tent where they uh, they most uh, have acoustic uh, shows, yeah, yeah. and uh, they remove the tent this year, yeah. And also, I That's think why we, uh, we didn't, yeah, uh, uh, and partly it's also because we are uh, the solo guitarist that we have right now is uh, Cedric Forsberg. He's a great solo guitarist, uh, but we have only borrowed him. Right. Uh, he's, he has a lot of uh, his own projects and bands, so he doesn't have the time to commit fully to our band right now. Uh, we hope that maybe someday he will commit fully to our band and uh, maybe put some other stuff aside uh, instead but right now we are searching for a new solo guitarist uh, just because we yeah we can't plan any gigs before we have uh, everything um, yeah man that's difficult and just to get it straight Cedric is our beloved uh, producer. Yeah, he's uh, also our producer. And he's well. gonna uh, stick to that and gonna be our producer on yeah, the next yeah, album as yeah, well. Yeah. But it, he, he it, was still it, it wasn't the planned. solos and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, he usually, we, he, me and uh, Valle here, writes the songs and then uh, we uh, have uh, Cedric writes the solos for the songs and also produce them so he might uh, change a few things and stuff like that. Because of course you got picked up by Frontiers Records as well. That's awesome. How pleased are you with their input so far? We uh, are yeah. extremely excited about being, because we, uh, we had, uh, when we got to a certain point, we made our first uh, music video. We uh, started to feel like, oh, okay, uh, we need to check if we can get some label somewhere because uh, now we've been releasing stuff for ourselves uh, self and uh, yeah, we, we didn't have anything uh, planned out, so to say. Uh, then we started to check with a few contacts that we had uh, and uh, they told us about uh, Frontiers and some other labels and uh, before we had a chance, Com Frontiers actually contacted us. That's yes, they contacted us and they said, can you please stop looking for another label? We are on our vacation, but please hold your guns and we get back to you next week because our office is closed. But please don't do anything because we want you. Brilliant. Obviously, you are at Sweden Rocks. There's an amazing lineup there. You've got Guns N' Roses, Volbeat, yeah. Um, Kingdom Come, fucking, I'm so jealous, so jealous. Which band? <laughs> I'm, I'm even jealous at myself for seeing Kingdom Come. And yeah. even when, even though I love uh, Wolf, what's his, the or, original singer, but. Many Wolf. Yeah, but 
Saint James was yeah. my idol back in the days with some other bands. I love his voice, and I'm I'm very curious about his how he is gonna do it with Kingdom Come. So, which bands are you most looking forward to seeing? Yeah. I think w- one of the classics that's always good is Saxon, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they are always good. Um, They're always good. And then it's, of course, Kingdom Come and yeah. Sean yeah. Wavor, if I pronounce it right. He is, when I saw him with the. Uh, what the fuck is that band's name? And I saw them in England, Nottingham. Right. Uh, so we'll go on to the next question. What are you thinking? All right. So, yeah, I'm totally jealous. I wish I was there. I mean, the lineup's fantastic. Um, so if you could do a collaboration with any band or musician, who would you choose? Oh, um, good question. Ooh, yeah. Um, mm, living or dead? Living or dead, Eva. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, I have a, a personal uh, curious favorite uh, musician of mine is uh, Randy Rhodes. Uh, I, I love the make the way he made his solos, and uh, I I think all the 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 songs that were made in collaboration with him from Ossie was extraordinary and um, I think that there was something with Randy Rhodes he had something with this way of playing guitar uh, because yeah. I'm a guitarist myself uh-huh. uh, there was something with the way he played guitar that I'm intrigued by and uh, that I uh, feel like I-, I want to know more about why and how uh-huh. he did what he did and I know that you have some things about the way of singing. I have too many. You do. Amazing heroes. And, but if I had to choose, I would choose Ray Gillen. And he is dead nowadays, but he is my house god because the way he pronounces and do his vocal works, I just love it. When I, Give all my wishes and best wishes, and just when I make love to Ray Gillen because he's my best influence <laughs> on singing, and that's where we were. But yeah, I was done. You I love think. Ray Gillen, that's yeah, it. I love Ray Gillen. Ray Gillen. Yeah, that's coming over, man. <laughs> that's okay, man. If any one of the songs from the album could appear on a TV series or film, which one would you choose? Oh, straight for the kill. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I think that has uh, like a theatric uh, approach to it. So yeah, maybe yeah, straight for the kill. Or uh, my personal favorite on the album is Danger. But if we're talking on uh, TV's series or a movie then yeah straight for the kill but i believe that song will fit well to a tv series or a movie as well but i think straight for the kill it has uh, like you said a the- theatrical feel to it and some kind of punch but as we said earlier before to me all the songs on this album are they are all different. They are. No, they, they are. They are. Ways. They are. My favorites, all of them, in some kind of way, just a little bit different. Some. It's hard to explain, but I uh, believe. I believe musicians, when you make an album, they have like uh, some favorites. Uh, like uh, this one is my favorite. Blah blah blah. But all the songs on this album, not to be cocky or how you say it, but all the, all the songs on this album are my favorites. Brilliant. Okay. In different and, kind of and they yeah. could fit 
yeah it's hard to explain but maybe it's because we work hard but i think every musician works hard for their music but they yeah. every song have uh we had an interview interview on the in the sweet rock magazine and some guy said that the lyrics they lack 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 interest and they are like uh, glass of water. a glass of water he thought the lyrics sucked <laughs> and i put a very lot of effort to 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 the lyrics and uh, but uh, i don't know but we yeah. we'll, we'll let, a, let a harder work beyond the music on this album excellent man okay then so if you were a musical instrument what would you be <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I would uh, probably be oh, uh, uh, not what you want to be, but what you would be. Yeah. Uh, because there's a difference be with uh, what you want to be and what you would be. But uh, yeah, I I think that uh, I would actually want to be drums because I I, I love uh, I'm from the beginning I'm a drummer. And I love the, I, yeah, yeah, I love drumming. I don't want to uh, be a microphone, but I want to be a piano. Ooh, That's my, yeah, yeah. piano love. is uh, actually. Piano is my love instrument good. always. Cool. You just want to be tickled all the time, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, we also have to add that uh, we have uh, had quite a few of uh, these and uh, some yeah so we we're we're into the sweden rock feeling we are under the influence it's good dude. Yeah. i love it man i love it okay then so if you were king for a day what would you do oh i would allow drugs no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> just kidding <laughs> No, I would, I would, uh, and <laughs> I don't know, but I would, uh, oh. I would love to get the old time rock and roll back to the mainstream music instead of this shit you hear on the radio every day nowadays. The new king is weird, it's Valle. Oh, it's <laughs> yes. bring back the old kind of rock and roll. Yeah, it sounds good to me. Absolutely. Yeah. So I, I I would uh, make Valle the king is weird to me. <laughs> bring back the 80s. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. All right. I'm the drummer. Was oh, oh, here's the drummer, the drummer as well. He didn't want to be in the right, interview man. because he, he was hey, too badly dressed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, please hear now. Everybody needs Vipera in their lives because... Because we are bringing back the old time good motherfucking music, which everyone in this motherfucking world really wants to hear. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Without yeah. problems. That's yeah. We're bringing back the old times. We're bringing back the old times. The old kind of uh, the the feel to the old kind of rock. Uh, we're bringing that back. Uh, we we love a lot of things. Uh, a lot of new bands does, yeah. but we don't. The feeling is not yeah. there. The the old school kind of feeling is missing uh we think and that's what we're bringing back yeah, i think i think a lot of bands miss that kind of touch i love eclipse and a lot of bands on like uh, the label frontiers and how they do their music and bringing back some kind of the 80s but they are more like into this aor it, it, kind of feel but it's uh, it's more like a new touch on it's a new, the old it's a new touch of we want to bring uh old touch on the old ways we, we want to do we want to continue what was made um we just want to in the 80s we don't want to look forward we want to stay in the 80s <laughs> yeah, we want to some some guy told us uh, i believe on the 
uh, standing on the edge video on uh, YouTube, and he wrote something like, oh, this sucks. This is nothing new. And we don't want to do <laughs> things <laughs> don't that are new at all. New. We want to do the old things good like again. Said, it might be, it, it, it's 80s metal, but it's drag kicking and screaming into 2022. Yeah, yeah. precisely. As you said, as you wrote in the, yeah, yeah. It is, dude. Okay. It's uh, all latest drag screaming, as you said. Okay, uh, okay so now just five impressive. questions. And then I'll let you go. So it's either or either, yeah? Vinyl or digital? Vinyl. Vinyl. Hey, Lord, yes, vinyl. We just were fighting for getting our album released on vinyl. Yeah, we want to release it on vinyl. We don't vinyl. know how to do it, but you can please do it for us <laughs> and get a, get a mob online that gives us our album on vinyl because everybody we talk and everyone wants it on vinyl. And, people uh, ask us, when are your album coming out? Blah, blah, blah. And they are getting it on vinyl. No, only CD. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want to release it on vinyl. But uh, right now, I, I think we're a new band. We uh, uh, Frontiers just signed us. I, I, I don't think they will just make vinyls uh, uh, as the first decision. Wow. Uh, we, we have to fight for it a bit, but we will get there, we will get there. But I don't think we have to fight for it very much because I think everyone we talk to want to have it or get it on vinyl and- You mean they will fight for it? <laughs> and they will fight it for us, Yeah, I think, because that's our music is made on vinyl, yeah. And it's gonna be given on vinyl, I think. But what does made on vinyl mean? Uh, Hard rock music yeah. ah, was mean, made uh, on vinyl. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, next one then. Small intimate gig or festival? Sorry, oh, sorry. one more time. <laughs> small, what did intimate, you say? small intimate gig or festival? Festival yeah. is my kind of yeah. cup of tea. Yeah, but festival every day. Excellent. Then you can collaborate and talk to and get together with other bands and get together. And that's why we love music. Yeah, totally do. Okay, Meatballs or Jack Daniels? Oh, that's a hard one. Uh, Meatballs or Jack Daniels, if I heard you right. Yeah, uh, I would choose uh, Jack Daniels, I think. I'm I'm starting to call myself myself a vegetarian, so I need to say Jack Daniels. Okay, man, that's good. Are you saints or sinners? Sinners, of course. Yeah, we're trying to be saints, but we fail. We fail. There are no saints that are saints. Sinners are saints. More yeah, often. yeah, yeah, that's true. That's actually true. A lot of sinners are saints. Very true. Right, last one. Abba or Hammerfall? Oh, that, oh, that's Hammerfall. Yeah. I'm not so sure, actually. I, I think I would say Abba, actually. Brilliant. Right, so that's the first time anyone said Hammerfall from Sweden. That's Swedish, it's usually ABBA, so I'm impressed. All yeah, right, so I, I, I love, I mean, uh, ABBA, they have a lot of great songs. Uh, I, I love the uh, music in all kinds of ways, and uh, if it's a good song, then it's a good song. And I think ABBA has wrote, written more good songs than Hammerfall had. So, yeah, I, I have to say ABBA. I actually say ABBA as well. <laughs> but I just want to give the, the hammerfall guys. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would, I would rather uh, go and see hammerfall live than I would uh, ABBA, actually. I believe I'm the half of the sound of this band because I'm way more fucking into the 70s music than the other guys in this band <laughs> that, and that gives the half of the sound of this vipera album that i have to take credit for myself and abba is one of the 70s 
yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of very cool. sounding band. Yeah, they made the sound of the 70s. Okay, man. Right, well, I want to thank you for your time. It's been a brilliant interview. Enjoy the festival. I'm really fucking jealous. Do you have any <laughs> final words for your fans, our viewers and listeners? I would say keep listening and we promise you we will bring some really fucking good songs uh, in our upcoming albums uh, as well. Uh, this album is just a taste of what we got. We have a lot of good songs. Excellent, man. Well, my he, he stole my words. He's <laughs> actually, <laughs> he took him from my mouth. The, the upcoming album is going to be motherfucking amazing. If you like this one, you're going to get blown a motherfucking way. Right. Well, the yeah. Yeah. yeah, And probably when we play live, we're going to give you some sneak peeks from the next album. Awesome. Yeah. Last Definitely. thing I meant, to ask you, I meant to ask you about the album cover. What's that all about? What's, what's Ooh, we, have a, we actually have a really good story about the album cover. Um, I don't know. Do you want to tell it or should I tell it? I can tell it. You can tell it. But... Uh, I, I'm the most sober of us, uh, I think. I, I'm not sure. But uh, anyways, I can tell it. Uh, it's uh, We had a Finnish guy, a uh, guy from Finland, that... Um, was uh, making the album cover for us. Uh, he sent us a preview of how it was going to look because we wrote him that we want to have uh, this and this. Uh, when he sent us the first preview, we said, okay, but you have to change this and this and make it good. Uh, and he said, yeah, 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 I'll fix it. And then we didn't hear anything from him. We had a deadline for a uh, sending everything to Frontiers, uh, the album cover and songs and everything. Uh, and bef I think it was one day before the deadline, we, have we, the we started to think, okay, this guy isn't answering. We, we have no idea if we're going to get this album cover. So we wrote to a uh, girl. No, no he, he did send us a copy of what he did uh, paint or did an artwork from and he told he just us, wrote sorry <laughs> he, he, he wrote us sorry please don't tell anyone that this is my work you can have it if you want and you don't <laughs> need to pay for it and the girl we wanted a girl in a chair in a room with some kind of 80s filter yeah. and the girl looked like she was uh, some kind of uh, retard and, <laughs> and and we wanted a beautiful girl and everything just <laughs> fuck we have a deadline on sunday and then i asked my girlfriend because her uh, brother him. had a tattoo artist as as the ex girlfriend and then we just talked to her and then she just did this in like two hours yeah so and the thing is if you look at this artwork at the right if you turn it upside down she ain't that pretty <laughs> but if you look at it this way it's um, amazing we love it but we had questions about the artwork several times and maybe people think it's uh, yeah i mean it, it was like, i don't know it, but we got this uh, like a few hours before the deadline from the girl who made it amazing artist. I don't know her name. You may even know her name. I'm not sure. Ida. Ida yeah. something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but she she did a great work because she made this album cover in like two hours. Wow. And uh, we just told her, make something like yeah, we love like the old uh, icon yeah, album yeah, covers and exactly. stuff like that. We're a little bit into uh, like uh, icon uh, night of the crime style of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and uh, she made this in like two hours. Then she sent it over, and we said, "This is great. We'll we'll just keep this. This is great." So yeah, it was a uh, uh, it was not a planned thing. We just made it a couple of hours before the release of the, uh, no, not the release, the deadline. The deadline. And that, as well as 
we have uh, like uh, four songs. It's uh, Spellbound and uh, the piano version of uh, Standing on the Edge. And that's a Japan exclusive. And uh, what's the other one? No, it was uh, Spellbound and. Uh, eh. <laughs> all right guys that's brilliant man <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, just, we'll just say uh, yeah we're supposed to release our album independently before we got frontiers behind us and then we had just like nine songs and when we got frontiers they wanted 13 songs and then we had to make spellbound and the standing on the edge and uh what the fuck is the other name? I, I think we're mostly <laughs> rambling drunkly, right? Yeah, it's all good. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thanks for that. Yeah, yeah, I'll, get this, I'll get this on site soon. Um, we'll get we'll sorted out. Have a good rest of the evening. Enjoy your drinks and enjoy the festival. And we'll yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah, uh, of course. Cheers. Bye. Cheers to all the fans who love us. Yeah. Uh, we uh, want to say, of course, Keep listening, and you Keep will on. not be disappointed by the upcoming songs. We have a lot of good stuff. Mm -hmm.